a Nevada property management agreement is created between a property manager and the owner of one or multiple properties in the state. Here, we'll overview what a property manager does, property management rules specific to Nevada, and what to include in a contract. What is a property manager? Property managers are responsible for the oversight and maintenance of property, but duties of a property manager can be different depending on a client's requirements. Some owners prefer their managers to handle all aspects of property, while others like to have some control, such as paying their own utility bills. More often than not, property managers are responsible for the following. Rent and security deposit collection, filling vacancies, negotiation and renewal of leases, enforcement of leases, timely coordination of all maintenance and repairs with contractors, coordination of lawn care and snow removal, monthly and annual profit and loss reports, utility payments, evictions, and other duties as requested. Nevada license requirements. While people may feel that it could be easy to become a property manager, many are unaware that the majority of states require property managers to possess certain licenses, some of which take a lot of time to acquire. In Nevada, property managers must be associated with a licensed real estate broker, regardless of whether they are paid or not. Moreover, a real estate broker can't manage property unless they have a signed property management agreement with the client. It should be noted that the employees of the owner are exempt from this rule. To verify that a property manager is licensed, you can access Nevada's license search database. We have a link for you in the video description below. What do property managers charge? A monthly rate of 10% of the net rental income is standard, but the percentage can be lower or higher depending on the extent of their responsibilities. Moreover, it's customary that managers also collect the first month's rent when filling a vacancy, as well as additional fees for lease renewals and evictions. What to include in the contract? It's important to create a firm management agreement. The contract should, at a minimum, include names and addresses of the parties, location of the property, date of signing, exact services to be provided, term, right to terminate, overview of payment distribution to the owner, compensation, maintenance, security deposit, and rent rate stipulations, signatures, and any other applicable terms. Were eForms the biggest online database for legal documents? Access your official property management agreement specific to Nevada in the link below.